Hi, in this video I will show you how to put together this thanks card, which is a free SVG file from Simply Crafty SVGs. So here's our scallop thanks card, and it's been redesigned since 2017 when it was originally created. Um, partially because there were just, there weren't like minor issues, but there were things, I didn't really change it. So if you're seeing this now, what you see is what you see. Um, uh, but there were some minor improvements to, done to it which is not really noticeable to you, but it should cut better. So it's just thanks, and literally this is what it's like. So here's an envelope. So I'll put that aside. So I just chose the white little thanks cut out, and then we can just pop it right on there. So it's a really quick card, and if you just wanted to make a generic card with it, you could just go ahead and add any kind of image or um, text on that and you could use it without the thanks. So let's go ahead and just glue this together. Super simple card really. I still decided since I have to redo it, um, I just do a video. It used to be written instructions but it's just easier to see it. So this, so this is a file you can get for free uh, from Simply Crafty SVGs. You have to download it. You do have to create an account and um, you need a Cricut or a machine like a Cricut or a Silhouette. I'm just going to center this. Or scan and cut. Anything that can cut an SVG file. I'm going to go ahead and center this. And it's just a real quick thanks card. You could even make it smaller if you wanted it to fit into an A2 envelope. The dimensions are on the product page for this, so you're wanting the ex exact dimensions, but I did make a special card for it. So it's a big thanks card. You could squish it down, you could size it down, and probably um, just make sure that the the longest length is five and a half. So maybe I'll just put that in the description. That might be helpful to what you need to size it down to to make it a basic eight. T2. The problem is, is all machines are not graded equal and so with that thanks it may cut with some machines it may not cut with others so just be aware that's the reasoning for the size. And when I made this in 2017 originally um, I really uh, I don't know, I just made it big because I wanted the scallop. I wanted the scallop shape. I just wanted to shape card like a scallop. So I made it and then I was kind of stuck with the size. So this is, um, I just used a pattern paper so you could use a solid, anything like that. And it just opens like that. And then it'll fit into this envelope. So you could go ahead and just fold. Um, I take the tall side to be the bottom. So normally what I do with my envelopes is that I just kind of like do that to find out where the edge is. Put glue around the edge here. Making sure not to go too far in. Oops. And then um, I know this angle so put a little bit in here and just right there. And we'll do the same on the other side. Then I put the glue on the edge on this piece so it'll adhere right here. But I always want to make sure there's no glue on the inside because obviously we need to be able to insert the card. So I just see how far over it goes. So this is my method. I'm sure others have their methods of doing it. But it's just an eyeball that I know how much, I, how far I can go. With wet glue, it doesn't take much. Make sure no glue inside. And then you can just uh, add your sentiment, slide it in, and then you just glue it shut before you send it. So that's it. It's our little free freebie of it's the Scallops Thanks card. So if you did like this project, I always ask if you can give us a little thumbs up. 
and or subscribe to our channel and if you hit that little notification bell to the right you'll be notified when we have freebies like this our new freebies and other projects um, from Simply Crafty SVGs. Thank you so much for watching.